Hello family, welcome back to my channel. I decided to just go ahead and out myself in this video. And I shouldn't just say myself, but my household, my husband and myself, I'm outing us because we were out of control on Amazon in May of 2023. We were out of control. Now, I will say this, we just purchased a new home. Um, and so we were in the process of like cleaning up the trailer that we were moving out of and moving into a new home. So along with that comes lots of, um, you know, organization and stuff like that. But um, it was pretty eye-opening to see everything that I purchased. And so I'm going to go through everything that I bought on Amazon. If I've used it enough to give an opinion, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set a budget for June because um, we, we were both out of control. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the video. Actually, pause. If you like this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, if you think this idea is funny, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sure other people do this. Like, it's basically like a haul, except I'm not going to hold up the crap. You know, I'm just going to flash a picture on the screen or something. Okay, so starting off the month, super exciting. I bought John a pack of work socks from Dickies, okay? Next up, I bought a KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment. Now, that was not for me. That was a gift, so there's that. John purchased a Camco magnetic bumper cap with lug fitting end. Nobody knows what it is, but it's RV related, okay? Next up, we bought a wireless motion sensing stick LED light bar. John went crazy with these things, okay? It comes in like a three pack and he literally put it in almost every single cabinet inside the camper. And I was like, can you calm down? But at the same time, it was super convenient to be able to open like the pantry and then like an automatic light turn on because light sometimes in RVs, it's hit or miss. So, and he did it like in the kids' closets, our closets. So it was well worth it. But I was just like, dude, chill out. Like he kept buying them. Next up, I purchased an extra large utility tote and it says that it, it's a reusable grocery bag, oversized and collapsible. The reason why I purchased this is because first of all, does anybody remember when 31 was like super popular and like their utility tote was just everything? The reason why I got this is because when we went to Disney World, we had like the diaper bag, we have like an express diaper bag, we had um, my backpack, and then we had another, like a snack bag or something. It was really inconvenient when we, because everything was under the stroller. When we went to go get into the car at the end of the park day, we would have to take all like five of those things and move them from the stroller to the car. So I was thinking if we had a utility tote under the stroller that all of those things were in, then we could just take one thing one time, you know? And it was like 37 bucks, so worth it. Um, next, super exciting again, I purchased some paper towels. I try to avoid going physically into stores because I have no self-control. So if I can order stupid stuff like that on Amazon, I do it. Um, more of the light sticks. John got more light sticks right here. Next up, really exciting stuff, RV Digest It Black Water Tank Treatment. If you hear my children screaming, their father is with them. Um, he's supervising the screaming, by the way. I'm not just like sitting in another room and just pretending it's not happening. Not that I would judge you if you did that. Okay, next up, I bought two replacements of our Misting Stroller Fan. They are um, USB chargeable, but also have batteries, I want to say. And they have like little mister on them. And they have kind of like these like tentacles on there that you can wrap around the stroller so we had them in disney world for the twins and it was like a lifesaver so we purchased two more and i'm probably going to buy even two more to have them face us because they seriously like with the zoe stroller that we have there's a canopy that goes over it so we would put the canopy down and then the stroller fans on and it was basically like the twins had ac even though it was like 90 degrees outside so it was amazing Okay, next up, I purchased um, three of the NUK brand. Is it Nook? Is it NUK? It's all caps, so I'm assuming it's NUK. Um, sippy cups for Oliver because he had, um, like, destroyed his sippy cups. What else is there to say? So I purchased him replacement sippy cups. Um, and those are our favorite so far that we've witnessed. Um, that's what I give him milk in. 
but in case you're interested, in case you care, I have the 360 cup that he drinks water out of. Okay, next up, because I was putting together some gift baskets, there's going to be some gift basket items in here. These were for like the realtor, our loan officer, um, the title people, our realtor's assistant. I bought a big thing of rose gold crinkle cut paper for the bottom of gift baskets. I also purchased two of these journals you're seeing somewhere on the screen here. So pretty. I bought two of them, one for my realtor and one for her assistant for their gift basket, and they were really pretty. I purchased a woven basket for the assistant's gift basket. I thought it was really cool because it it's like a dual purpose, like she could use it to put toilet paper on top of her toilet or something. That's literally how it's advertised. But it's like pretty. It's not just a regular basket. Next up from my realtor, she's actually expecting twins. Um, which is funny. And so I purchased her a diaper caddy. I love doing that if I'm giving like a gift at a baby shower or anything like that, because diaper caddies, I, I feel like you cannot have enough diaper caddies because you could have one in every other room. Okay. I purchased the Sharpie S gel gel pens in the color champagne. They're my second favorite pen in the world. I will say though, that they're more aesthetically pleasing than my favorite pen. So my favorite pen is, I think it's called like the Pilot V7 something. Everything will be linked down below. That's my favorite, the Pilot V7 something something. But the Sharpie S gel, very close second in terms of writability, but I just think they look nicer, especially if you're like giving gifts and the champagne color is really pretty. So I purchased that for the gift baskets. Um, next, we got Frontline for Stella for Fleas and Ticks. Six dose, that was expensive. Next up, I purchased some pineapple paper clips for the basket. For, for the realtor's assistant, I was going with kind of like an office supply theme, like fun office supplies. I also purchased her some sticky notepads in like this pretty boho pinkish color uh, for my realtor's basket. And then I want to say like the loan officer's basket or something. I got some shower steamers. I am obsessed with these things. I got a bag for myself as well. You just it's like a bath bomb, except it goes in the shower. And so you just drop them in the bottom of the shower and then it like releases the aromatherapy. I'm just, I'm obsessed. And this particular brand in these particular scents, it smells so nice. Like John's obsessed with using it. So I got my realtor, I think two bags of it. I got the assistant, like a six pack that came in like a smaller tube that was really cute. And then I got one for myself. And then for the assistance basket, I put in a Turkish beach towel because we're in Florida. So I just thought that was kind of like somebody had commented because I asked for gift basket suggestions and they commented like to go with kind of like a beach theme because it's Florida. And I thought that was a really cute idea. So I ended up going with a Turkish towel. And then I got some L'Occitane Nourishing Shea Skin Set for my realtor's basket, kind of like a postpartum-y type thing. John purchased a home refrigerator, fridge and freezer door lock latch. The reason why he purchased this was because we have a camp kitchen outside on our trailer. So outdoors, there's a kitchen and it has like a mini fridge. And when we're driving, there's no lock for it to not open. Next up, John purchased some shorts, it looks like, some hybrid um, board shorts thingies. Next, he purchased some dry fit t-shirts. When we first moved here in February, it was still on the colder side, like not super cold, you know, but it was like 40s. Uh, some mornings were like in the 30s. So I had purchased him some dry fit shirts. So then that way when it gets long sleeve dry fit shirts, so when it gets a little warmer in the middle of the day, they're still lightweight. And he loved them so much that now that we're approaching actual summer, he wanted to get some short sleeve. Next, I got a ring light with the purpose of doing more um like instagram reels and things like that but i just it was it was too big so i ended up returning that john got another three pack of shirts this time it was dry fit polos apparently so he grabbed himself a three pack of that i don't really care if he buys clothes because i swear i actually have to harass him to buy things sometimes because he just like would he would he would spend money at subway without thinking you know what i mean but he won't buy himself items that he actually needs Okay, next up, I bought a two-pack replacement spout for Oliver's sippy cups, and then I proceeded to lose them. No idea where they went. So further on in this video, you're going to hear that I had to order it again. I ordered a very large playpen for Oliver. 
um, is $189, but it is amazing because you can actually customize. So it's not, it doesn't have to just be a square. So John kind of made it like this long funky shape for him in our um, living room that works perfect. Next up, I purchased a crawling toy and it's a crab and it, it dances and moves around. We have several of these and Oliver really liked it when he was learning to crawl. Someone actually messaged me and said it was on a deals like Facebook group. And so she said it was like, I think it was $9.99 or something. And I was like, yep, sign me up. Next, John purchased a wall mount for Oliver's baby monitor camera situation to put in the on the wall. And then he purchased another one that apparently tilts. I think he was testing out which one he actually needed. Next up, John actually had to talk me into this. I purchased myself a Kindle Oasis. I previously had an iPad Pro. I was in love with my iPad Pro. When we moved to Virginia, when we were traveling through TSA, I left my iPad Pro Pencil, which I used to use all the time because I used to do digital planning and I used to even toy around with like artwork and things like that. I somehow lost it going through TSA screening. I'm guessing I left it like in the electric, electric, the electronic little basket. My heart was broken. Then when we were living in Virginia, the iPad Pro itself had kind of just turned into my Kindle. I mostly just read on there because I no longer had the pencil. And I couldn't bring myself to spend a $300 to get another pencil or whatever it is, $200. I dropped it in the bathtub and it was ruined. iPad Pros are not cheap. My heart was so broken, it was not even funny. So my best friend actually had like, one time Target was doing a deal and Kindles were like super cheap. So she offered to let me take one of hers because she had them just as like backups for gifts and things like that. So that worked out perfect. So I had like one of those regular Kindle Paperwhite situations, but I read enough and the Kindle Paperwhite is super slow and it's just like very, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it feels like it's not of the century. I'm being very dramatic, but I was like, okay, so I was gonna get the other Kindle. There's like one in between the Paperwhite and this Oasis. I was gonna get the other one, but John ended up convincing me just to go with like the really good one and I love it. I already love it. I've had it since apparently May 20th, so that's like two weeks. It has page turning buttons right where you're holding it and that is like a game changer. And then it's also, the reason why we sprung for that one is because it's water resistant or waterproof, one of the two. So if it gets dropped into a bathtub, it's not, it's not the end of the world. I purchased another one of those diaper caddy organizer thingies for another basket that I'm putting together. This is for one of John's coworkers, they're expecting. My favorite thing to purchase, in case you're curious, I'll probably end up doing some type of a baby product video. My favorite things to purchase are a swaddle blanket, a footsie or onesie, depending on the temperature that the people live in, and a mommy robe. And then the rest of the stuff I just do like Vaseline, for, and oh, I should say, those things that I mentioned before, the mommy robe, the swaddle blanket, the footy or the onesie, those I purchased specifically from Coco Moon Hawaii. They are the best quality, like best quality. I have done a lot of laundry and I have th three babies, three, three of them. They all wear mostly Coco Moon and it holds up so well. Like their swaddle blankets, I can't even tell you how many times I've washed those swaddle blankets of theirs and it just, they're just amazing. And swaddle blankets can go farther along than just like when you need to swaddle the baby if you need to cover a stroller if you just need a light blanket when you're like out on a walk or whatever swaddle blankets are awesome so anyways I purchased those from Coco Moon and depending on the gender of the baby um this in this case it's a boy I purchase a like three pack of Vaseline in a squeeze tube Vaseline to me has worked better than diaper creams for diaper rashes as well, I found. So other than the butt paste, the Dr. Boudreaux or something like that, but Vaseline to me is just like no nonsense, you know, and in the squeeze tube, it just makes life so much easier. So that's what I usually put in there. And then I usually just do like postpartum stuff because like those shower soothers, because I feel like everybody gets stuff for the babies, not always stuff for mom. So that was a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay, next up, I ordered a hyper chiller. If you follow me on Instagram, it's at Kate Koska. 
I tend to share like iced coffee and iced latte recipes that I make at home because I have an espresso machine and I'm just like obsessed with making coffees. So the hyper chiller, you can actually brew the coffee into the hyper chiller. And then within 30, 30 seconds, within 60 seconds, it cools the coffee down. That way, when you pour it over ice, it doesn't immediately melt the ice. And yes, I know there's like that trick where you can freeze ice cubes. If you think that I have my life together enough to freeze ice cubes of coffee ahead of time, you clearly don't know me well. You should stick around and subscribe so you can get to know me better and know that I would never have my life together enough to make cubed iced coffee, okay? Next up, we purchased two TV mounts. One of them is for the bedroom. One of them is for the living room. John got like a really fancy one for the living room where it pulls like out and down because we have a fireplace. It's specifically for fireplaces. And when he was purchasing those, he also purchased a sound, a sound bar bracket to go under the TV for our sound bar. Next up, I purchased John a waffle robe, a lightweight waffle robe, you know, so he can feel fancy. I bought Stella a Kong dog toy and I liter it literally says four large dogs and it comes in and it's like this big, it's like for a chihuahua. So I don't know if I got sent the wrong thing or if they don't know what a large dog is, if they need like breed pictures from Pinterest or what, but it was not for a large dog. Next up, I ordered an essential oil storage rack. I'm gonna put my essential oils in the laundry room, I decided. Okay, next up, we purchased a rolling laundry basket. The one that I had for the kids, it finally like crapped the bed. I had purchased it in December of 2021 before Oliver was born. So it finally needed to be replaced. We didn't actually purchase this, but because we signed up for AT&T for internet, they sent us an entire Blink system with an Echo Show 8 and everything for like a security system with a video doorbell and all that stuff. So that was cool. I purchased this shirt on Amazon. I do not personally have the best time when it comes to Amazon um, fashion. I tend to find that either like they're see-through, they're really bad quality, and I even go on and read reviews, but I, I think a lot of the reviews are maybe like affiliate reviews or something because I get stuff in and I'm like, it's either too small, too big, like it's just the quality is awful. So generally I do not waste my time on Amazon fashion, but this time I was like trying to piece like outfits together. I, I really want to try and focus on like feeling a little bit more put together now that the twins are like approaching the six month mark, I can kind of start feeling myself get out of zombie mode. But I regret it because the next two items, I purchased a turquoise leopard top and it was so cute, had these like ruffle sleeves on it, super cute, did not fit. Like same size as this, and this is kind of roomy, that one didn't fit at all. Then I bought a puffy short sleeve, square neck top that I thought was really cute. I bought it in a light white, completely see-through. So I refunded that. Next up, uh, I love this one. I purchased a skirt and it's got a Dalmatian print on it. And it's in like a dark pink. That one's really cute. I purchased that and decided to keep it. And that fit great and everything was awesome. John purchased some furniture locks. I have no idea. I have no idea why he bought it. I'm, I'm not questioning it. I know it was for a good reason, but I don't know. I can't explain it. Next up, I bought another one of those diaper caddy organizers because I decided I needed one. So I grabbed one. More of the shower steamers. That was going in that other basket that I was putting together. I bought Nala some cat food. John bought an extension cord. John also purchased some blackout curtains for Oliver's room in like a navy color. They're very nice. And then he purchased a curtain rod to go along with it. He also purchased a smart lock, but then he ended up not liking the smart lock that he got because it didn't do what it said that it was going to do. So he ended up returning that one. Next, he got a doorbell mount for the Blink system that we purchased. I purchased some of that Vaseline, like I mentioned, for that gift basket that I've been putting together. I'm not going to see them for a little while, so I've just been buying things a little at a time. Next, I purchased two replacement nozzles or replacement funnels for our baby Brezza machine. If you own a baby Brezza, get yourself extra of the parts that go inside, they're like orange, and then also extras of the funnels because it's so much easier to have extra parts so then you're not waiting on things to dry. I also purchased a tea organizer because I was trying to figure out um, 
where I wanted tees to go. I ended up not liking the one that I got because it's kind of clunky, but I'm going to make use of it because it, was, it wasn't that expensive, so whatever. Uh, next up, I purchased a sleeve uh, storage thingy for my Nespresso pods for the drawer. I'm so excited I can have them in a drawer now. John bought more of the motion sensing lights. I purchased the Molly Suds Natural Oxygen Whitener. This is my like my favorite for baby clothes. It brightens it and it's non-toxic. The only thing I don't like is that they don't have like just an unscented one. That one has a pure lemon essential oil in it, which essential oils, you know, I don't know. I love essential oils, but essential oils can be hit or miss. And so putting them on baby skin, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about, but it's, we haven't had any reaction. So anyways, next, I'm really excited about this. I bought like a two piece, um, storage container that has these removable little thingies. I'll put a I'll put a video of it on the screen because this isn't doing anything for you. Okay, here is the container. So it comes with the lid that's like a snap closed lid, and then there's four little compartments in here. So you can either store everything just in the tray itself, or you can do two. You could do one, like you could put veggies and like a dip, or you could do meal prep. So what I was thinking was. For Oliver, I can do like a protein, a fruit, a veggie, and a carp. You know what I mean? And then have his meals prepped, ready to go. The reason why it's wobbly is because I put it in the dishwasher. And I don't think I was supposed to. But I live my life a quarter mile at a time, so here we are. My, my goal is to try and do some like meal prepping. And I want one for Oliver meal prep and then one for us meal prep. So that's my goal there. John purchased a gutter cleaning wand. So that's exciting. I purchased a screen protector and a case for my Oasis because I'm a train wreck as we've covered. John purchased a Roku um, remote because ours just like we replaced the batteries and it was doing no good. John also purchased a stand for the Echo Show that we have. I purchased three things of tea. I asked on Instagram for recommendations for teas because the girl that I'm making a basket for is actually British, so I didn't want to screw that up. My sister had recommended Yorkshire Gold Tea, so I got that. And then she also had recommended Oolong Tea, so I got a bag of organic Oolong Tea that had a high recommendation. And then Raspberry uh, Tea is supposed to be good for postpartum, so I grabbed her a bag from that same brand. Next, John bought another... Uh, door lock for the front door with like a keypad that was replacing the other one that he didn't like. Next, I purchased four different toys for Oliver. So I got him this little box that has a um, bunch of like, uh, what are those called? Uh, shapes that you have to store into the slots and the little uh, Mickey Mouse comes sliding off of it. So he has a good time with that. I also purchased like a nesting block set, but it was the crappy kind, even though it was Melissa and Doug, which is usually good quality, it's the crappy kind that the paper peels right off. So Oliver just like gets it off in seconds. And then I don't want him like eating paper, you know? Um, next up, I purchased a, a stackable Lion King block set. And then also a really adorable Winnie the Pooh puzzle clock. And just a reminder, everything is going to be linked down below. So if it lets me, I hope it lets me link all these things. I don't know. We'll see. I'll link, at least link my like tops that I felt like you need to know about. So because I had lost those two spouts for his sippy cup, I replaced it. I got a really pretty like copper color um, paper towel holder because I'm extra like that apparently. Like who needs a copper paper towel holder? Apparently I do. I purchased a graduation card for my friend's daughter because um, she graduated and I want to send her a little box of things. But I'm an idiot because I purchased two because I couldn't tell which one was nicer. And when one came in, one of them says daughter on it. So good thing I bought two because she's not my daughter. You know what I mean? Next, I purchased a decorative shelf and hook system for the front door to put like our sunglasses, our keys, um, John's wallet, stuff like that. I bought some kitchen shears because I recently figured out a hack that I have this like choppy thingy. I'll put a video here. And I posted that it's perfect for toddler meal prep. And somebody also recommended or reminded me that kitchen scissors are great to cut up toddler food as well. And I had seen that on TikTok and then completely forgot about it. So while I was thinking of it, I went ahead and ordered it. Next up, I ordered 
a baby Merlin magic sleep suit in size six to nine month because my twins are huge. And so they're, they're sizing out a three to six months and we love the baby Merlin sleep suit. I already had one from Oliver, so I just needed one more um, for the second baby. Uh, next up, John purchased a corner shower caddy, a two pack. Oh, it's a three pack. I lied. It's a three pack. It comes with two shelves and then a soap holder. And it's really nice. The one he picked out, it's in like a bronze color. It looks really nice in our shower. And then he also purchased a teak shower stool. And that was literally, he was just so thoughtful to say that it would be easier when I shaved my legs if I had that because I don't have a spot to put my foot up. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So he purchased that. Next up, um, if you guys aren't watching Jessica Braun on YouTube, I don't know what's wrong with you, but I love watching her. She does makeup, uh, lifestyle, and she also is a huge Disney freak. Uh, her husband actually owns a travel agency and I just love watching her on her channel. They have a vlog channel together and then they also have a podcast. So I'm basically just a total fan. Total fangirl and I actually got to meet her in Disney World, which was the coolest thing ever. Let me just tell you this story real quick because you know, you know how I am, squirrel, right? So I'm standing in Pecos Bills and we just had a fabulous day. We had got one of those God, what are they called? Fairy God nannies from Once Upon a Nanny and her name was Melissa. And she is now a, like, she's a cherished friend of mine at this point. I love her. We had a great day with her. She was so helpful. I'm standing in Pecos Bills. She had just left us. We just finished food. I look up and there's this beautiful goddess of a woman standing in front of me and she's got this adorable dress on, like one of the cutest dresses I've ever seen. And I was about to go up to her and ask her where she got the dress from because I just was like mesmerized by the dress, but I don't have the personality to be able to approach a stranger and like ask something like that. But I was building up the courage. Then I realized it's Jessica Braun and I was like, oh my God, what are the chances that I'm in Disney, she's in Disney, and she's standing in front of me and I'm like love, loving the dress she's wearing. So I end up, even though I'm not this type of person, I end up getting the courage because I'm like, this is never gonna happen again. And I'm a total fangirl, okay? I'm a total fangirl in this moment. So I go up to her and I say hello and Tyler was in the restroom, he came over, said hello. Um, it was just like, if you're a Jessica Braun fan, you just, she in, even in person, she just radiates this like joy about her and so did Tyler. It was just so cute. But anyways, why was I talking about this? Oh, <laughs> so she had mentioned, I don't know if it was on Instagram or if it was on one of, I think it might've been her Amazon. She did like an Amazon video. Um, she mentioned this healthy feet foot cream. Okay. This is the age group that we're in now where we're talking about foot cream. She recommended this and like basically anything she recommends, I just go run and grab it. So I grabbed that. That was a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just so sorry. This is going to be like a 45 minute video at this point. But do you expect any less from me? If you're wondering what I'm doing, um, we're having a situation with getting files onto my computer is a nightmare. So I'm having to record like, like only five to seven minute clips. That way I can airdrop it to my computer because that's like the only way that it's functioning at this point. We will figure it out, but that's fine. Speaking of Jessica Braun, she had also mentioned this tripod thingy which remember I said that I got that ring light and I didn't like it so she mentioned this tripod stick which you guys are actually on right now and it's amazing so I purchased that because she said to and she was completely right next I purchased small glass spray bottles because I have purchased the ordinary glycolic acid in a bottle and I don't care if it's TMI we are friends here okay I have been using it on my dark armpits and they're presto magic gone now, okay? But I had been using like a cotton pad to rub it on. Then I saw it on the Tikka Talkers that you're supposed to, or not supposed to, but people were recommending getting a spray bottle and just spritzing it on. And I was like, duh. And apparently they use it on back knee, which thankfully I don't have. I would admit if I did, um, they've been using it on back knee. And then also on like, you know that, I don't know how to say it but the abbreviation is KP, where you get those red bumps on your arms. Apparently, ch -ch -ch, little spritzies. I haven't tried it yet because I do have that. I just keep forgetting to try it. Apparently, that's supposed to work. But read the directions. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a chemist. So when it says glycolic acid, like take that seriously and make sure don't run and do what I say to do. Next, I purchased these hook 
organizer, well, not organizers. They're like these little hooks that go on hangers. So you can basically like hang up a shirt and then put the little hook on it and then hang up your pants to attach it to like, to outfit plan. And so I purchased it for myself and then I was sitting there putting um, Oliver's laundry away and then I realized it's so easy for toddler outfit planning because they just like hook together and it's like space saving. Next up, super exciting stuff. I purchased a uh, silverware organizer for our drawer. Listen, I just need to talk to you guys. Why is it that the only options for silverware organizers are like bamboo or plastic or that that stuff that rusts, that like metally, like great looking one? Why is that all we have as an option? You know what I mean? Like none of those, I mean like the bamboo is nice, but if that's not the vibe in your kitchen, you know, bamboo to me is a very specific vibe. So I ended up going with a black bamboo. So if you're like me and you're looking for something that looks like, yeah. and again, bamboo has its moment. It's just not in my kitchen. But the black bamboo is nice because it looks really high quality, but it's not like a light color, you know? Next I purchased, okay. So Oliver has been going to speech therapist for just some early intervention because that's a whole other thing for a whole other video. But anyways, when he was at the speech therapist, she mentioned this toy and he was playing with it and having a freaking ball. So I ended up buying it for him. Again, this will all be linked down below and I would 100% recommend it because we've had it for like three days now and he's just having a ball with it. Next, John purchased two different Aloha shirts because he said on, or three different Aloha shirts. He said on Fridays, he wants to start wearing Aloha shirts. So that's really adorable. So he purchased a few to try out different brands, fits and stuff like that. Next, we purchased some Flow 5 of the Philips bottle nipples because um, the twins were fighting their bottles a little bit. So we wanted to see if maybe we increased the flow because they've been on four now for maybe two months. So that's what we were doing there. Um, next up, John purchased a tray for under our sink in the kitchen. It's really cool. There's these two drawers that just like pop out like this. Like they're just like a little triangle. But inside the tray is metal, so it's all like rusted and gross. So John bought plastic ones to replace it, which was genius. I purchased an 8x10 um, picture frame because for Father's Day, I did like a collage of our family photos. I'll pop it up on the screen because I'm massively proud of it. I think it just looks so cute so he can take that to um, his desk at work. John purchased a pack of 165 balls for a ball pit for Oliver. Um, and then it turns out that 165 balls is not a sufficient amount. We're gonna end up having to order more balls. And um, I did say to John, I'm already surrounded by enough balls, but he's just in insistent that we make a ball pit for Oliver. I know he's gonna love it for at least 7.3 seconds. So whatever. Next up, um, I haven't received this yet, but I got a two tier um, countertop shelf unit thingy to put in our bathroom so I can have like my skincare and makeup stuff out, but like organized. And then I also ordered some uh, dispensers for Q-tips and uh, cotton balls. And then I ordered a two pack pen holders, but I'm gonna use them as makeup brush holders. Next up, my mom asked me to send my sister a baby Brezza and then she just gave me money to do so. So I sent my sister a baby Brezza because we're obsessed with the baby Brezza. Like baby Brezza is life to us. And then, is this the last thing? This might be, oh no, <laughs> we got a whole other page. Uh, next up, John ordered a TV mounting kit. I don't know, I don't know you guys, you know? I'm sure it's important. He ordered a power cord for a subwoofer system. We also ordered a silicone whisk set because I had got those Our Place really nice pans and they recommend not using any type of metal. And I realized that my whisks were all metal. So I ordered some silicone ones. They're supposed to be here today. I ordered myself a desk calendar, like one of those really large ones because my goal is to really be organized when it comes to YouTube and everything. I really wanna have my life together. Because to me, it's not even about like, I'm not here to like, boo I, I don't, I, it's like you, I want people to follow because I enjoy doing this. I enjoy sharing and I enjoy the idea of doing that with more people, but I'm not doing it as like an ego boost. And I don't, I think that would be a common misconception with a lot of content creators is that they're doing it for an ego boost, but at least the people I follow, that is not the vibe I get from them whatsoever. But anyways, I just enjoy doing it. If there was one person that watched this video, 
that would be fine with me because I just enjoy hearing myself talk. You know what I mean? I'm just kidding. But I, anyways, I just want to get consistent about it because I feel like at this point, it's my creative outlet. I used to have a Etsy business called Create with Kate obsessed with it and I had a Glowforge laser engraver I had a vinyl machine and that was like my creative outlet I love designing and I love all of that stuff now I get to kind of with trying out this content creation stuff I get to still do um some designing because of like graphics and stuff you know for the thumbnail and it seems so silly but I like I said the, that was a whole rabbit hole you didn't expect to but again we just squirrel and we just so I got long story short or long story long, I got a desk calendar so I could write down like video ideas and when I want them to come out. Okay, next up I ordered some cord organizers for my appliances. They're like this little thing that goes on the back. I'll try and take a video because it's supposed to be here today. I'll try and take a video when I set one up so I can insert it here. So you put it on the back of say your toaster and then you can spin the cord around that. The reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to be storing our appliances in the pantry now, which is phenomenal. I'm so excited, but the cords are a problem. So I got that. John purchased a safety work glove set for work, a 12 pack. It looks like cool. I purchased a slim charger that's compatible with the iPhone. It comes with the cable attached to it. Um, Melissa, my fairy god nanny that I mentioned earlier, I follow her now on Instagram and she had posted it and said it was amazing and it was on sale. So I like ran to Amazon and grabbed it. I also purchased John's Chris, uh, Christmas. John's Father's Day gift is going to be an Apple Watch because after several years he has finally died. So I purchased him a Apple Watch band via Amazon and then I got, oh my God, I got such a good deal. And it's running until I think June 11th. If you've been thinking about an Apple Watch, the one that he wanted was the Series 8. Uh, he wanted the GPS non-cellular version and it was regularly 419 which was was the lowest price I saw but they were doing $60 off so it was only 359 that I mean I didn't see any anything close to that price so in case you're looking for one as well I purchased a Graco swing because we have the Mamaru and I love the Mamaru Oliver loved the Mamaru Spencer loves the Mamaru Bennett nope he likes to swing this way, I think. So I got the Graco because it does swing this way, whereas the Mamaru goes this way, or she goes around, or she goes like this, but she does not go this way. I don't know why they designed it like that, because some babies need to go this way, you know? So anyways, we're going to give the Graco a try. It's supposed to be here between 7 and 10. Wow, guys, we did it. We got through everything that I purchased on Amazon in the month of May 2023. I was going to tell you guys how much money I spent on Amazon, but now I cannot find, there's a way that you can go into Amazon and I just Googled it and everything and I cannot figure out how to download the report. There's a report you can download with how much you spent and I can't figure it out. However, I may, because I think that that would be a shock value, you know, and like I'm here for the drama and I hope you guys are as well. I hope you're my people and you are here for the drama. I feel like you'll want to know. So I may take the time and just manually add it up if I can't figure this out or dedicate more time to this. And if so, I'm going to pop the number on the screen right here. Wow, that's a number. You know, that is a number. But that's it. That's all I have to share with you guys today. Those are all of the things that I purchased at Amazon in the month of May 2023. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Because like I said, I'm just here to try and reach more people, get some more connections, you know, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.